So excited. I'm here now with Iggy Azalea. The rapper is back with that big new single, Team. She was on top of the world in 2014. The only artist since the Beatles to hold the number one and number two spots on the Billboard's Hot 100 simultaneously. But in a matter of months, everything changed. She faced criticism online and from fellow rappers as well. And now she's here to talk about the troubles she's faced and her brand new tribe. And Nikki's so excited to have yeah, you here. Yeah, you too. And I'm so excited about this new music video because you just put out a big hit, your last music video mm -hmm. lyric. It already mm -hmm. has seven million views. I know, I'm so excited about it. It's only been out like four days. I was gonna say, like, what's it like for you to be putting out great new music so soon again? Well, you know, it's been so long since I put anything out. Um, so I wanted to have something that fans could look at straight away and now I think I might wait a couple more days to put out my real music video because mm. people are loving the dance video so much. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing and obviously this past year it's been very mm -hmm. tough for you but do you kind of see this song team yeah. as kind of a way to move beyond that a little bit? Yeah, definitely. I think it's important for me having taken so much time off to really figure out what I wanted to say when I came back and have people's attention. Mm -hmm. um, and I think team is the right message. So I'm excited for this to be the song mm -hmm. that people hear from me after being away. Yeah, and we're talking about a lot of new music coming out as well. Mm -hmm. Digital Distortion, yeah. that's your new album, album coming out. So what's behind that name? Uh, you know, Digital Distortion is kind of touching on, I guess, the social media era that we live in, this world of technology where we can distort our own realities, um, it's a world of misinformation, good and bad, and it's just kind of navigating that throughout the album. You've been through a lot. You talk about that social media. <clears throat> People have gotten yeah. on you about body shaming. You've had detractors in the hip hop industry as well. <laughs> yeah. How do you? How are you able to handle all um, that negativity? It's tough sometimes, yeah. but you got to think about the people that uh, support you as well. You know, like I grew up loving Missy Elliott, loving Missy Kim, uh, Little Kim or Trina, and so. I'm lucky that I, I had those women that I um, really idolized support me, and so I get a little bit of comfort in that, and knowing the people I look up to um, kind of like appreciate what I'm doing, so because that helps. Th and that's the truth too, Iggy, because th that's really who you are. I mean, you grew up in Australia, and yeah. you loved hip hop. You were trying to mm -hmm. emulate people like Tupac, you mentioned <laughs> yeah. Missy Elliott. So, so how is it fair when you get criticized for rapping with a, an English accent? Um, or an American accent, whatever that is. Yeah, you gotta, everybody gets, uh, you, no matter what, uh, I think, rapper or if you're an actress or no matter what you do if you're in the public eye you get criticized and picked apart and for me that's the thing people like to pick out with me and I just I have to deal with it and okay. obviously it's a lot you had to go through I've read that you said you, you wish you could memory erase some of the things that happened yeah, in 2000 I wish I had a, a men in black stick <laughs> just so. with the glasses yeah it's that would gone be lovely I'd love that but have there been well, what positive things that have come out of last year that help, have helped to get through it? um you know what I had such a good time making this album and I think that there's a thing called the sophomore curse that people mm -hmm. talk about where you have so much pressure after your success of your first album that uh, you you don't know what to write about and the second album falls apart and can be a bit shambly. Mm. So I think um, me having a rough year last year and taking a step away, it gave me the ability to have the space to just quietly create my little masterpiece. Um, and I feel like that 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 gave me the ability to have something really strong and I, I hope I don't have the sophomore curse this time. I think <laughs> you mentioned those men in uh, black sunglasses yeah. a moment ago. I wish I was wearing those right now. I don't know if you've noticed this rock <laughs> on Iggy's God. finger. Can you show that to, to America right now? Yeah, I'll tell you something big. very good that happened this past year. You got engaged yeah, to did. LA Laker Nick Young. I did, yes. That is a good thing. <laughs> that is a very good thing apparently. Can you, yeah. can you talk to us about how he proposed? Oh, he was very sweet. We I organized a big birthday party uh, uh, his birthday and mine are a few days apart huh. and uh, so we had a big carnival themed party mm. and we had ferris wheels and all this crazy stuff and he came to the party really late and he was acting very strange <laughs> wasn't acting right and uh, we went on the ferris wheel and he kept saying if i asked you to marry me would you say yes you would have said no would you what would you do? i thought oh my god I, is he gonna i said you better not be playing around if you're gonna ask me to marry you tonight like don't get me all hyped up and then not ask and he had a box this big i thought he was gonna give me a pair of shoes well, that, that's what you need to I fit that was, ring in i thought it was sneakers I mean, apparently it's like something that a, a giant hat comes this in. is much better than a than high heels in a box so i, I I, yeah, it was a good, good birthday. And how's the wedding planning going? Oh, wedding planning is a lot. Anybody who's been married out there, like, 
I empathize with you. It's so much more than what you think it's going to be, planning a giant event and wanting to appease your family and make sure all the moms are happy. Uh, my family are all Australian. I have to fly everyone mm, out. That's but right. We're enjoying it. I think we're trying to like make our wedding cool and young and hip. So we're trying to figure out what to do. And I understand, of course, you guys are still going on your honeymoon. So congratulations uh, on yeah. that. You get a little break time away yeah, yeah, yeah. With, uh, with your future husband. It's so great. Thank you so Thank much for you. being here no. with us. Congratulations on all your success here Thank recently. You. And Iggy Azalea's new single, Team, is available now.